Magic Mountain movie review. Ennis and Jack meet in the summer of 1963 as they both have to guard sheep, or herd them, whatever, on the titular Brokeback Mountain. It doesn't take long before they fall in love and the rest of the film is them trying to find a way to make it work between the drive to be together and society's pull of trying to make them conform and you know raise a straight family family This is one of the best love stories I've ever seen. It really... One might say that it didn't need to be two guys, but it is essential to the story that it is an impossible love. And I think it's great that it's two guys, because that still is, you know, because of... Yeah, I'm not going to get into that here, but that still actually is an issue in a lot of the world, you know, gay couples, and, you know, f now we have an excellent film that portrays a gay couple very, you know, very fairly. It is not about how straight people are evil or how it's, you know, it's a very, very balanced film, you know. In addition to their relationship with each other, it's also about the women in their lives played fantastically. In fact, all of the acting is excellent in this film. I really, maybe the children are a little bit off, but that's it, and they are children. And that really is it, you know, every single character, you know, whether they're in it for a long time, Anna Faris actually impresses, you know, as a fast-talking city girl who's now gone to... She's in the film for, like, two minutes, and she's just fantastic. But, yeah, as the women in their lives, are Anne Hathaway and Michelle Williams, both giving terrific performances. And they're not portrayed as the bad guys, you know. It really is no person's fault what is going on in, you know, the, the various troubles they have. And also, quite importantly, it is not shown in a strictly, you know, romanticized manner. It is not, you know, their relationship isn't perfect, you know. <clears throat> the characterizations are quite good. You really get into, you know, who these people are. You know, Jack is a bit of an idealist and very outgoing, very social, relaxed. He's comfortable in his own skin. Whereas... Delmar, I don't remember his first name, is, you know, Ledger, is more reserved and kind of, he's, he's clearly not comfortable with, you know, his sexuality. And he also has a bit of a temper, which sometimes gets him into trouble. The, and, and he's a bit more pragmatic. It's also about their relationships with their parents or, you know, family. And, you know, yeah, the, the various, you know, them trying to make it work over the years. And this is a film that takes place over, I'm not 100% sure, but at least a decade, maybe two, you know, a, a certain, some years. And... That is reflected in the pacing, and I quite like what Ang Lee did here, because watching it, it feels like you are seeing, 
It feels like you are experiencing several years. It doesn't just fly by. With that said, it's never a boring film. But the pacing does, you know, reflect that this is taking place over several years. It is not just, you know, it is half a lifetime, I suppose. It's, it's, it's a life. It's not just something that happened. It's not just a story. It's a life. You know, and this was something that really affected their lives very deeply. It's a beautiful film. And it's, uh, you know, it's an effective film. It was really engaging right from the start to me. And I laughed several times. At one point I cheered. And frankly, I nearly cried several times in this. It is a really effective film. And I really, I will not give away how the, you know, if it is a positive or a negative outcome. I, that is for the viewer to experience by themselves, for themselves. It's well edited, it's well filmed. I'm not sure I could really put my finger on a single frame, a single detail in this film that I really change or that I really object to in some way. It's a very realistic, very credible look at these people and, you know, they have full personalities. You know, you don't get completely, you don't completely understand everyone, but no one feels like a cardboard cutout. You know, everyone is an actual person in the film. Yeah, I suppose that's pretty much it. For those who are just desperate to know if it's gonna make or break the film for you, yes, there is cowboy sex. I hope you're happy. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.